let's talk to you a bit about oil paints, uh, just so you can kind of get familiar with them. Because uh, I know lots of you have been asking me um, how to use them and how to get started. Um, so here I've got a set of oil paints um, by Winsor & Newton, which is a really good set um, here. So you get quite a good range of colours. Um, and these, you can get them from places like The Range or Hobbycraft. It's about £20 for a starter pack. Um, and that's all you really need. You don't need to spend lots of money uh, to get kind of going with oil painting. Uh, there's a few different rules um, that you kind of need to understand before you get started. Well, you know, I say rules, they're a bit more like suggestions, but they're just going to help you to understand what you need to do uh, when you get your hands on these, because they do work a bit different to how acrylic works. So the first thing, you know, is, you know, just to summarise kind of what we're going to talk about. So something called fat over lean, thick over thin and slow drying over fast drying. So if you remember those things, that's going to really help you with your oil painting. So this is the kind of rules here. Let's see, so we've got fat over lean, thick over thin and slow drying over fast drying. Now, these are all kind of, you know, things to help you to remember the main principles. So when we say fat, we mean something like this. So this is what's called refined linseed oil. Um, so if you think oil equals fat, that's really going to help you. And then lean is thinning it. So thin is here. So this is white spirit, which you can get from any DIY store. Just a quick note before you kind of use anything like white spirit or indeed any oil paint, just make sure you're in a well ventilated room. So it's not going to be um, too many fumes. It's going to give you a headache. So when you add a medium to the paint, the resulting mixture is kind of said to be what's called fat. So if I was to get my blue oil paint here, which I've got here, you can see if I was to put it onto my page, it's really thick. Yeah. Now what I can do is I can add a tiny little bit of linseed oil, which I've just put into this here. And if I put that into my paint, it will give it more of a looseness, you see? So it becomes more, I suppose, like how you would work with acrylic. So it becomes a little bit more loose. And all I'm doing is I'm adding oil to the oil that's in the oil paint. So you can see here it's beginning to have a bit more viscosity about it. So if I was to add, some white spirit. Let's just have a bit of this. To my oil, so I've got some a little bit of white spirit here. You will see it begins to behave in a different way. You see, so we've got fat there and then we've got lean. So it's more translucent and it's a little bit more watery, I guess. Now, you know, obviously because we're using oil paint, if we were to mix water with the oil paint, it wouldn't mix because oil and water doesn't mix. So if you think of these two materials, the linseed oil and the white spirit, as your sub substitute for water, that's really going to help you. So lean paint with solvent dries much more quickly than fat paint. So the one with the white spirit dries more quickly than the one with the linseed oil. And so if you put a lean fast drying layer of paint over a layer with more oil in it, you'll end up with a layer that's still drying below that's already finished drying. So this can cause the top layer to crack and the paint below changes finishing and curing changes sort of it just creates this kind of different dimension. It begins to crack. So we don't want to do that. We want to be working with the, the oily paint and then putting the lean over the top of that. So that's a really good way to remember that. Now thick over thin is another little rule here. So when you're starting an oil painting, a good thing to do is just to do a wash over 
your page. So for example, you know, if I was starting to do a landscape, I might do a wash. Just working with the white spirit and a tiny little bit of paint. And that's going to dry relatively quickly. And then what I can do is I can start to add in the thicker layers, the fat over the top. And you can see that sits quite nicely. Now, if I was to do it the other way around, I wouldn't be able to get those thinner layers onto it. And I would also have some cracking when it comes to drying. So you always try and work with the thick over the thin, the fat over the lean. Okay, and then the next one I just want to tell you about was some colours take longer to dry than others. So you need to kind of get experience in trying different things out and, and kind of getting experience to know which ones they are. But as a rule of thumb, the earth tones, so if I was to show you on my palette here, the earth tones, which are these ones here, and kind of um, dry quite fast, whereas the kind of jewelly tones, which are the kind of blues and the kind of greeny tones, they take longer to dry. Sometimes it can even take weeks for reds and blues and yellows to dry all the way through, and blacks and whites um, can also be quite slow drying. So you need to kind of get experience to know which ones dry quicker than others. So I would, you know, try out and just see kind of when you're doing your compositions, always kind of get your slow drying over the fast drying so that you're not caught out by that. But really, this is just in a kind of a nutshell, just to explain to you. So these are oil paints. You need to get yourself some of this, linseed, some of this, white spirit. I would also make sure that you have at hand some kitchen roll so that when you are going between colours, because you can't clean your brush with water, because this is oil, just use a little bit of white spirit to clean your brush. And then I would just get your kitchen roll just to get rid of all the excess, and then you're ready to move on to a new colour. Okay, so have some kitchen roll, white spirit, linseed. Another really good thing to use is a kitchen sponge. So what you can do with that is you can use that to work in texture. You can use that mixing in your fat to create these nice backgrounds. You know, it's all different things that you can do. So the rules are fat over lean. So make sure that you are working with your fat your linseed oil layers over your lean white spirit layers, thick over thin, so thick layers of paint over thinner layers of paint. So when you've got your thin leaned out white spirit layers, you can put your thick over the top and slow drying over fast drying. So the thinner your paint, the more lean it is, the faster drying it's gonna go compared to the fatter um, oily paint. So there's just a few rules just for you to think about to get experimenting but what I'd recommend you do is just get a really thick piece of paper or a canvas um, or even a piece of board and just try out how your paint reacts to the white spirit and how it reacts to the linseed oil and how you can mix colours together and that's the best way to get started. Okay, just give me um, a message on Teams or contact me on email if you need me for help. But that's just really the fundamentals of getting started with your oil paints.